Danny Segura for MMAJunkie.com here in New York City, standing to former Bellator champion Gegard Mousasi, who will be taking on Douglas Lima. Welcome him to the 185-pound division at Bellator 243. First of all, Gegard, um, how... I guess, how how do you feel about this matchup? You're, again, you're fighting for the title, yeah. but I know you really wanted that Lovato yeah. uh, rematch. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's for the belt. Uh, yeah. I guess a worthy opponent, uh, Douglas Lima. Um, it's a great matchup for me, I feel. Uh, but of course, I wanted to fight Lovato, uh, but he has some health issues, so uh, it's not in my mind at, at this time, but uh, I really wanted to race that loss, let's say. Yeah. Um, are you? I know. Obviously, it's very unfortunate what's happening with him and his, his brain condition. Yeah. Uh, but but put that aside. Are you kind of uh, uh, not maybe upset, but a little disappointed? You might not get to run that back because his career is kind of up in the air right now. Yeah, yeah. On one hand, yes. On one hand, uh, I don't have to worry about steroids, cheating. So I don't have to push about uh, testing. Yeah. It's mixed feelings. Okay. Now, uh, you've obviously been very vocal about, you know, fighters that, uh, you know. Listen, not all fighters. I never, mm, yeah. I never ever said anything about Douglas Lima. Yeah. And, so, uh, he, in your opinion, you don't think he's on, on the no, juice? No, of course not. Of course not. But uh, there's a day and night difference that you can see with your eyes, you know. You cannot go from uh, when you're 20 and then at 35 you're Hulk Hogan. It's not possible. Yeah. It's physically, they just... If you have a herpes on your nuts, if you go to doctors, doctors watch it and say that's a herpes, you know? Right, right. You, yeah. Visual, visual yeah, check. Visual yes, that's with some people you mm -hmm. can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kids don't get herpes, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's not good. <laughs> listen to uh, listen to Gegard here. Um, and you've trained before with Douglas Lima. It seems yeah. you guys are cool, right? Yeah, you guys have. Um, yeah. What was your experience like training with him, and did you ever think you were going to end up fighting him? No, no, it, it was uh, maybe one and a half year ago, maybe longer even. Uh, never thought of fighting him. Uh, very nice guy, humble guy. Uh, nothing but respect for him. And uh, well, yeah, now you're, you're going to fight him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big welterweight. Uh, yeah. Do you think you will still have a size advantage, though? Maybe I will be at 204, maybe it will be at 200 pounds. That four pounds is not going to decide who's going to win or not. Yeah. And you've talked about, you know, potentially retiring, like a, a, a few uh, a few fights back. Is that still on your mind? No, no. That the loss made me motivated again, and um, so I'm not thinking. Uh, that was negative thinking yeah. of me. So at this moment, just uh, fight, fight, okay. and uh, I want to fight as much as possible. Yeah. Are you almost? Uh, I mean, a loss is obviously not, nothing yeah. good, but are you almost glad it kind of happened because you said it, it kind of yeah, motivated you? On one hand, it was nice, but uh, on the other hand, I was like, I could, I should have won that fight. I could have won, let's yeah. say, and I didn't because uh, the way I fought, I felt. It wasn't uh, more uh, because of the opponent, let's say. It wasn't like I got, it was a lot better or anything. I felt like I didn't perform, and that's that was a little bit diff difficult to swallow. Yeah. Uh, now I gotta ask you this, um, young vagabond. What is, does that ring a bell? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, it's a Japanese nickname that I, I got. I had a lot of nicknames, but I don't like any of those nicknames. No? <laughs> Even this one, I don't like. How did how did that one catch on? Because uh, uh, people might not know that, about that one. Just a friend said it's a good nickname at M1. Uh, he said uh, I was fighting at M1, and that one stuck. He said. Catching dreams. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> so you you prefer dream catcher over young vagabond? No, I don't like any of those. Okay. Both of them. There's no nickname for me. I feel like mm -hmm. nothing that suits me. So it was just put on by people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They okay. said the dream catcher and that one stuck. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Gegard. Well, I appreciate Thank the time, and uh, best of luck yeah. against Lima. Thank you. Thank you.